Hey, it's Matt at Gemlux. Let's talk about friction hinges for a minute. But before we talk about friction hinges, I think it would be foolish to not talk about the original Gemlux hinge. See, we literally have at least 1,500 different combinations of these hinges, and these hinges are great. The only problem is, is they don't hold anything up. They just keep your hatch together, but they provide no support. So for years, everybody that's used one of these hinges has had to use one of these ridiculous supports. And we sell them, we like them, but they're not very much fun to use. And it requires that every time you open a hatch in order to close your hatch, you have to push this support, then close your hatch and watch out for your hatch to come down and make sure it doesn't come down on your toes. So in order to eliminate these ridiculous supports, we decided to try to make a hinge that supported the hatch all on its own. The friction hinges that we're making now, we're already in our third generation. We've got a number of different sizes and uh, we're getting an incredible amount of friction and therefore support by your, from your hatch. Uh, they're made of uh, stainless steel, as you can see. Uh, we also, I'm gonna show you the pins on how they're kind of put together. It's a uh, really cool custom made sex bolt is what they call them, really. Uh, it's essentially just a male screw and a, and a female bolt. Uh, we have nine washers that come with each end. Uh, each hinge is a, a sandwich. We have a phosphor bronze washer, then a stainless steel washer, and then another phosphor bronze washer. And then we would put our hinge leaf on. So you go phosphor bronze, stainless steel, phosphor bronze. Actually, they're already on there. And then we would put our hinge pin in. Then we'd put another set of phosphor bronze, stainless steel, phosphor bronze, and then we'd put our other hinge leaf on, and then we'd put our sex bolt in. We've got three different patents pending on, on how we make this hinge, and because it's still in the pending process, I'm not gonna go into depth, but I can tell you that uh, the way we do this has never been done before, and we're really excited about the technology that we've developed, and we believe it's gonna have a lot of applications both in the marine industry and into the medical industry, into the pharmaceutical industry, for a lot of applications. Uh, if you think about it for an ambulance, for an EMT vehicle, where they, they deal with these hatches coming up and having to have the subsequent supports. Uh, in a number of applications, we've been able to eliminate hatch springs, gas shocks, because the hatch just goes up and stays up. We're gonna be offering these hinges in a number of different styles. Uh, one of the cool things is the styles that we're offering the hinge in match the exact same hole pattern as our previous hinges. So you will be able to, if you have one of our old set of hinges and you wanna to go to friction hinges because you're tired of your hatch springs uh, or your gas shocks don't work anymore because it gets too hot or too cold for them to function, you can just take our old hinge off, set it aside as a treasure, and install a new friction hinge, uh, and, and, and you'll have a hatch that will support. I get a lot of questions about people wanna know, well, what's, how much friction will your hinge generate? Uh, the answer is, is the friction is determined by the length of your hatch from the center line of the pin and the weight of your hatch. As we know, every hatch in the boat building business is unique. Uh, even the same hatch on the same model boat made two weeks apart can be a different weight. So what we encourage people to do is simply put the hinges on and see if they work for your hatch. If they don't work for your hatch, send them back to us. We'll give you a full refund. The, uh, but, but we're finding they work for most applications. Um, so again, it's, it's a length and a weight issue that determines the amount of uh, friction that can be generated. The longer this lever is, obviously the easier it is to lift it. This one is so tight, it's, it's, it's almost difficult to do uh, just with your hands. When you put two of them or three of them onto a hatch, you obviously increase the amount of friction generated by two times or three times. Well, thanks for letting us talk to you about friction hinges for a little bit. Uh, I hope you learn more about how they're made 
and a little bit about the different styles and, and applications we're going to have. They're going to be available in flush mount, top mount, uh, swaged up, which kind of keeps your barrel uh, a little bit lower, and a swaged down version as well. All that information and all the different styles are on our website at www.gemlux.com. We hope you'll go there and check them out.